1960s was a time of intense debate about the status of French within Canada. A Royal Commission on Bilingualism and Biculturalism resulted in the Official Languages Act, passed in 1969. Many English-speaking parents came to believe that fluency in French would be important for their children's future. In 1977, Keith Spicer, outspoken journalist and Canada's first ever Commissioner of Official Languages, learned how difficult it was to get schools to improve FSL teaching. I wanted as many children as possible in Canada to have a chance to learn the other official language. I mean, you have to understand that Keith was just an absolutely amazing person. I mean, he was so ingenious and he was so clever and so visionary. So he brought together education specialists, government observers, and 28 parents from across the country who were leading that fight. We weren't there because we had any particular title or role or job description, just that we were there as interested parents. And we had a voice, and Keith Spicer wanted to hear what we had to say. By the time we got to Calgary, the idea was germinating that, hey, maybe we should pull all this together and foment the creation of a, a Canadian parents for French, for example. We didn't call it that, but that was the idea. The event, the Parents' Conference on French Language and Exchange Opportunities, took place in Ottawa in March of 1977. By the end of the three-day conference, the parents took the bold step of starting a grassroots volunteer association to be called Canadian Parents for French. It was a time of a general sense of empowerment, a time when parents were saying, I, ordinary parent, can make a difference in our society. We just seemed to sense that this could be a real game changer. The kind of thrill that there was from learning that right across the country there were people who wanted the same thing that you wanted for your children. It was absolutely amazing. It is surprising what a, even a small group of people who were convinced of the value of what they are doing can accomplish. All of this meant that CPF had become a grassroots organization in other words, the, the strength of the organization came as much from the local level and the provincial level as from the, from the national office. Over 40 years later, what started as a small group of committed and tenacious parents has evolved into a proactive national network with 11 branch offices, 150 chapters, and over 25,000 members in communities from coast to coast to coast. With the strong legacy left to us by our founders, Canadian Parents for French is ready for another 40 years of ensuring that future generations of Canadian children can enjoy the many benefits and opportunities that come from fluency in both English and French.